Hello guys, welcome back to a civil engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this frame. This is a frame which consists of one horizontal member and one inclined member. The dimension of this frame is given to us and there is a triangular load or we can say the uniformly varying load acting on this beam. The magnitude starts from this end and ends with a maximum magnitude of 3 kN per meter. So we are interested to find out the support reaction for this frame. Let's consider that this is support A, this hinge support is support A and this roll support is support B. So this is a hinge support so it can resist the vertical load and horizontal load but as there is no horizontal load on this frame so this only will be vertical reaction. Here will also be vertical reaction R beam. So we are interested to find out this RA and RB. These both are unknown to us. So the first step is to find out this total load acting on this beam. As this is a uniformly varying load, so we have to change or convert this load into a pointed or concentrated load. So we are going to find out the area of this triangle. So the area of the triangle can be found out by formula half base into height. As this is a triangle, triangular load, so we are going to find out the area of this triangle in order to convert this load into a pointed load acting at the centroid of this triangle. So this is the area of the triangle and we know that the half base is the base for this triangle. It is the base which is 5 meter. We can see that this horizontal length is 5 meter for this triangle. So it is 5 multiplying with the height which is 3 kN per meter. So this area will give us the load, the pointed load acting at the centroid of the triangle. So 7.5 load will act at the centroid of this triangle. Magnitude of 7.5 kN. And this load will act at the centroid of this triangle and later we will find the centroid of, for this triangle. So this was our first step to find out the pointed load acting at the centroid of the triangle. Now the next step is to use the summation of moment equation. Let's suppose the summation of moment at any point equal to zero in order to find out the support reaction. And we consider that the moment summation at point A equal to zero. And let's suppose the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So the RB will act, is acting in upward direction and it will create the moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point A. Anti-clockwise direction, so it will be taken as negative. So minus RB multiplying it with the moment arm because moment is equal to the force into moment arm. Moment is equal to force into moment arm. So to find out the summation of moment, it is equal to the minus RB into moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this B point up to A point which is this horizontal distance which is 5 plus 4 9 meter. Now also this pointed load is acting in the downward direction and it also creates a moment about point A. It is acting in the downward direction and it will create moment in the clockwise direction about point A. In the clockwise direction, so the clockwise moment is taken as positive, it will be plus 7.5 into moment arm. The moment arm now for this load will be the distance from this point up to this point. Let's suppose this is R, R plus 4 meter because this load acts at the centroid of the triangle. So first we have to find out the centroid of the triangle and then we will add this R with 4 meter. So this will be the moment arm for this load acting at the centroid of the triangle. If this load is acting at this point, at this point. So this is R and this is 4 meter. So it will be R plus 4 meter. Now to find out R, let's consider this is in a triangle and this is the total length of the triangle represented by L. This is the total horizontal length of the triangle. Now let's consider that this is a centroid of the triangle. So the centroid will be two third of L from this end and from this end up to this point it will be one third of L. So this is the centroidal distance of the triangle. So similarly, we 
have to find out this distance. So this will be two third of length. Two third of length means two third of five meter because L is five in this case. So R is equal to the two third of five meter. So minus R B the summation of moment equal to zero. So minus R B nine plus seven point five into two third of five plus four equal to zero. Now 9RB, if we shift this value to the right side, we got 9RB equal to 55. So RB comes out to be 55 divided by 9. So we got RB equal to 6.11 kilonewton. So RB is equal to 6.11 kilonewton. This is a support reaction acting at point B. Now how to find out this Ra? Now we can use this equilibrium equation that the summation of vertical forces is equal to zero. So and let's consider that the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. This is just our sign convention. So the upward forces are Ra and Rb. These are acting in upward direction. So Ra plus Rb why these are the forces that acting in upward direction that's why it, they are taken as positive now this force which is 7.5 kilonewton is acting downwards so it will be taken as negative minus 7.5 equal to zero summation of all forces equal to zero now r a is unknown to us so we will bring all these into the right side minus r b and r a comes out to be 7.5 minus 6.11 so we got R A equal to the 1.38 kilonewton. So this is the support reaction at this point, which is 1.38 kilonewton. Now it should be also kept in mind that the upcoming load on this frame should be equal to the support reaction. So in order to verify this problem, to verify, you have to add up all the downward forces and upward forces and they should be equal in magnitude. So the upward forces should be equal to the downward forces. So the upward forces are Ra plus Rb. This should be equal to the upper downward force which is 7.5. So Ra is 1.38 plus 6.11 equal to 7.5. So by adding these two values, we got 7.5 is equal to the 7.5. So this is the way how to verify our problem. So hence it means that we find our support reactions in a correct way. So hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.